Alright guys, welcome back. In this video series of Python, we are going to be learning about Kiwi. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking for it, so here it is. So why is Kiwi so popular? One of the main applications of Kiwi is that you can just create the application once and it's going to run on desktop as well as on mobile. So the idea is it's cross-platform. So once you create it, it's going to run on all the platforms like Linux, Windows, OS X, Android, iOS, and Raspberry Pi also. Um, so what we are going to do in this video is that we are going to first of all download Python, PyCharm and install Kiwi. So don't actually skip this video because the installation part is actually a little bit more complicated than you might think. So first thing what we are going to do is you need to know when you click on this download it will take you to this page and here you can see that Python 2.72 and Python 3.5 to 3.7 is supported. So the latest version of Python is actually 3.8. So make sure you don't download that. If you have already downloaded it, make sure you download the Python 3.7 version because if you install the Python 3.8 version, it's not gonna work. Maybe in future, Kiwi will release a version where the Python 3.8 and further versions of Python will also work on Kiwi. But for right now, just download the Python 3.7 version or maybe Python 3.5. As it says, 3.5 to 3.7 is supported. So after downloading Python, you can go to jetbrains.com, PyCharm and download and go and download this PyCharm IDE. So IDE is basically an application where we write code and it makes it very easy for us to write code. So what you can do it if you want to download the professional version, go ahead. It's going to give you 30 day trial, but you can also download just the community version. That's perfectly fine. And after downloading that, you will open it up and it will somewhat look like this. And then you need to go to file click on new project and create a new project over here. I've already created a new project called Kiwi Tutorial. And if you want to follow along, you can also name your project Kiwi Tutorial and click on create. This will create a new project and it will be called Kiwi Tutorial. And now because we are going to be creating multiple projects inside this Kiwi Tutorial folder, I'm just going to right click over here and create a new folder. So just right click, create a new, create a directory. And I'm just going to call it Pink Monk. And I'm going to click on OK. And then when we want more projects, you can just create more directories. And now inside this ping pong, I'm going to create a new Python file. I'm just going to call it main for right now. And it's going to create a new Python file inside my ping pong folder. And main.py is over here. And now we need to install Kiwi. And if you are already using PyCharm, you can just go to file, then settings. And then the project will open up and you can go to your project Kiwi tutorial right now. And this will be the name will be different, obviously, depending upon your project. Then you need to go to project on Jupyter. You can also click over here and then you need to click on this plus icon. So as you can see, I'm using Python 3.7. Make sure again that you don't use Python 3.8. You can also use Python 3.5 or 3.6. But anyways, after installing it, you can just click on this plus icon and then go and search for Kiwi. And as you can see, Kiwi is over here. So we need to install some other things, some dependencies after installing Kiwi. So we need to install this Kiwi over here. We need to also install this Kiwi depth angle, this glue, this G streamer as DL2. So these four things are need to be installed. So first we are going to go with Kiwi and then we are going to install this angle over here. And then we are going to install this glue. And then we are going to install this G streamer. I know a lot of things to be installed and make sure you don't install the dash dev version. You just install the dot G streamer, not dash dev versions of all of these four things that are being installed. And we are just going to wait for it to be completed. All right. So it looks like everything has been installed. So we are just going to close it and we are just going to check over here that everything has been installed properly. So Kiwi and Kiwi automatically like installs Kiwi garden. So that's fine. And over here we have the four uh, packages that required these are the dependencies of Kiwi so now we are just going to click on OK and make sure that all these processes are completed and now to find out whether it's actually installed or not you're just going to use the import statement and we are going to write Kiwi over here and if this doesn't show any kind of errors that means Kiwi has been installed properly what I'll also recommend is that you go to the kiwi.org website and actually have a look around of how Kiwi works but if you don't want to do that that's totally fine because we are going to be covering Kiwi in depth in this video series and in the next video, we'll be starting with creating our first game window. So I'll see you over there.